Vin Diesel vs. Too Fast Too Furious The first major Furious feud came between Vin Diesel and the writers of the first sequel, Too Fast Too Furious. They didn't take the Francis Ford Coppola approach to it, he told Variety in 2015. They approached it like they did sequels in the 80s and 90s, when they would drum up a new story unrelated for the most part, and slap the same name on it. He turned down $25 million to appear in the sequel. He made a cameo on the third movie and returned in 2009 for Fast. Everything seems to go smoothly until the filming of the eighth film, The Fate of the Furious. The Rock vs. Vin Diesel, The Rock, whose agent Lou Cobbs joined the cast in 2011's Fast Five posts on Instagram on August 8, 2016, one that shows him fighting on the set of The Fate of the Furious. Called out his male co-stars, in the caption, saying, some conduct themselves as stand-up men and true professionals, while others don't. The ones that don't are too chicken sh asterisk t to do anything about it anyway. Candy a asterisk asterisk s. Many thought The Rock was calling out Van, and reports said the two had a secret meeting to patch things up. Two days after his first Instagram post, according to Vanity Fair, The Rock posts a second one, saying that, family is gonna have differences of opinion and fundamental core beliefs. On August 11, 2016, Van finally weighs in, posting a sleepy video of himself promising to, tell you everything. Everything. He doesn't follow through. Michelle Rodriguez confirms the feud in Sep. 2016, and after that? Months of silence. While doing press for The Fate of the Furious in April 2017, Ben seemed to bury the hatchet. In my house, he's Uncle Dwayne, and I'm proud of that, he said. Rock said the beef was due to different philosophies. It all seems good until The Rock hints in a April 2018 interview with Rolling Stone that he's not sure he'll be back for fast. The Rock vs. Tyrese Gibson During the early days of The Rock vs. Van, Tyrese Gibson tried to play Peacemaker, downplaying the reported beef. Yet, he changed his tune, per Esquire, posting an Instagram pic that indicated he was on Vin's team. Tyrese's beef with The Rock would take off in September 2017. Replying to a photo of The Rock reviewing a movie contract, presumably for the Agent Hobbs spin-off, Tyrese issued a warning, according to Digital Spy. If you move forward with that. Tyree said he wanted The Rock to shoot his spin-off, but not before the 9th Fast. In October 2017, Tyrese posted a throwback shot of the Furious cast, before The Rock, diversity, love, multi-ethnic, worldwide, multi-generational, United Nations, one race, fast family. Until Dwayne showed up I guess this whole time he had a problem, cause he wasn't the only one on the movie poster. Congratulations to it Garcia 41 and it The Rock you guys are just amazing you really broke up the This feud was strictly one-sided, as The Rock never directly addressed Tyrese. Even after Tyrese threatened to quit, Dwayne stayed silent. It ended not with a bang, but with a slight whimper, as Tyrese said in November 2017 that he spoke with Dwayne's associate, and that, Justin Lin is back in the driver's seat. Michelle Rodriguez vs. Vin Diesel? There was another feud that came out of Fate of the Furious. Michelle Rodriguez, whose Letty Ortiz has appeared in four of the eight movies, said in June 2017 that she was thinking of quitting. I hope they decide to show some love to the women of the franchise on the next one. Or I just might have to say goodbye to a loved franchise. Being that fast. Van and Michelle appeared together in a June 30, 2017 Instagram video that seemed to squash any rumors of a feud. After saying he was the biggest supporter of strong women, Michelle said, I've always appreciated that about you throughout the years. And just know if I ever post anything, that's not you I'm talking to.